Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechView Snope and today I'm going to show you how to print images from a Windows computer in different sizes as far as different size paper. Now as far as things goes, someone from the older crowd came up to me and asked me how to do this and I figured since one person has this question, others probably have the same type of question. Now the method I'm going to use this requires you to have the image already downloaded on your computer and this will work from Windows XP maybe even Fordin but definitely for future versions of Windows right now the, we're dealing with Windows 8 the uh, most current version out there is Windows 8.1 so anything past that I, I don't know but I have my doubts if it, if it won't work so it definitely should work in future versions so first things first you need to locate your your file, your picture, and to do that, you need to go into the file explorer. To do that, you click on this icon. If you do not see that, then go to this icon to the left, which is the start icon. Click on that, left click, and then go to computer, left click, and this should come up. Now from here. You need to locate the the image wherever it is, um, and, and if you download it, it could be in our downloads folder. But just keep in mind where it is. So the image I'm going to be using, it's within my pictures and specifically within the test folder. Now, one thing um, I'll mention is there's two ways of doing this, but one way I've, I I know that it works nearly all the time so I'm just going to show you that method uh, the fir first method is you're just going to double click on it um, le left click and go to print and um, from here you can select the the paper size I've seen it where that method doesn't work at times in fact um, I lately ran into a problem where that particular method didn't work in a certain newer printer so I'm going to show you the method that works nearly all the time. Now, for this, you just need to right click on the file, the, the picture that you want to deal with, and left click on edit. And from here, you can see the, the picture if you want to see it. Then let's, let's actually uh, maximize this screen. So to see this picture, you can actually go to view and zoom out as you see here so from here to to uh, print it in different type of uh, uh, paper size what you need to do is go and, and if if uh, everything looks good down here like you can edit the size and all the other things you want but if everything looks good down here click on the blue tab to the left top left and it might say file, it might say something else, but just click it. And without clicking anything, which is very important, just hovering, hover over print. And you see print preview on the right side. Click print preview. And from here, you need to click on, and this is what it looks like when it prints. You need to click on page setup. From here, you need to click the size. So from here, you can select whatever size you want. So we're selecting four, uh, four by six, and you need to recognize what type of picture you have. Is it best in landscape or portrait mode? If it's best in landscape mode, then it is pretty much like this. If it's best in portrait mode, which unfortunately this image isn't, then it will have a vertical look to it. So it's going to, so it's going to be basically like this, whereas landscapes like that. Now, one thing to note is if you notice, the image is slightly to the left. Same thing here, slightly to the left. And the reason for this is this image just flat out can't take up the entire area. So to fix that, you can click the, the uh, centering 
and center it. So if this is fine, then, and this is what it will look like right now, if this is fine, then great. But we want to have it cover everything. So we're just going to mark all these as zero, or close as possible to zero. And again, make sure that you can select both of these if you want. Um, the vertical really takes more in place if you're doing a portrait, but since we're doing landscape, we're doing that. Now keep in mind, again, due to the image, the nature of the image, we will have a border to the left and right. It's just not wide enough. So as far as that goes, and when you print it, this is what it will look like. Again, this is print preview as seen here. So from here, what we can do is if we like what we're seeing, we can click print and then simply click print again. Now, again, because this is a test folder and test file and all that other stuff, I'm not going to click print. I'm just going to click cancel since I don't want it to print on my machine. But if, if everything looks great on your end, then feel free to click print and see if it prints out the right size paper or, or the uh, photo paper that is. So as far as what we covered, we covered on how to find a general way to find your, your picture. There's a few other ways and also specifically how to size your, your image, the, the actual paper it will go on. So it's uh, four by six or a letter page or uh, I think about five by three or something like that. Uh, there, there's quite a few different sizes you can use. But as far as things goes, I showed you how to resize the paper that will come out, how to resize the image on where it will show up on the printed paper. And, um, and I showed you how to print the image. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section, and I'll try to get back to you as quickly as possible. This has been Craig Bennett, founder and owner of Tech Views Nope. If this has helped you, then please like, please subscribe, and please share. And please visit techviewsnope.com, and I hope you have a great day.